Hey guys, what is going on? Today I'm going to be showing you how to remote into your Minecraft server. So let's get started right now. Okay, so uh, if you have a Minecraft server and it's running on a computer and say it's across your house um, or it's at a different house or something like that, you probably want to have the ability to remote into it so you can access it from your main computer. It's actually way easier to do than you might have thought. So I'm going to guide you through that process right now. All right, guys, so here we are logged into my Minecraft server. And all we have to do on this computer is open up the start menu and start to type in remote desktop. And you should see some options appear down in here. Um, and one of them should be remote desktop settings. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And now this is open, you want to go ahead and check this little box right here that says enable remote desktop. Okay, so now after that is enabled, you want to go ahead and close out of that and open up your start menu and type in CMD. Okay, it's going to open up a command prompt window. Okay, and now you want to type in IP config, all one word. And then you guys should see here IPv4 address. Okay, you want to go ahead and write this down so in this case mine is 192.168.1.180 um, that's the ip address that i have but yours is probably going to be different come down here to where your network is right click on that and click open network and internet settings okay it's going to go ahead and open up a settings window now inside of here you want to find network and sharing center okay go ahead and click on that uh, if you're running windows 7 or windows 8 just simply click on your start menu and type in network and sharing center Okay, so now you're going to go ahead and click on the Ethernet button right here. Yours may say something like Wi-Fi, or it'll have your Wi-Fi network name. In this case, my server is on Ethernet, so that's why that says that. But it's just going to be this little link underneath the Internet. Okay, go ahead and click on Properties. And now you want to go ahead and find Internet Protocol version 4 TCP slash IPv4. Click on Properties. Okay, now it's going to say uh, obtain IP address automatically. Click on use the following IP address and then you want to go ahead and paste in that IP that we had earlier inside of that command prompt with IP config. Okay. And then subnet mask, you can just kind of click on this and push tab and it'll automatically fill this in. And then for your default gateway, the way you get this is by opening up CMD again, type in IP config. And then right here, default gateway going to be this one right here not this one right here it's going to be this one right underneath it okay so in this case mine is 192.168.1.1 so you just want to go ahead and type that in right inside of here now right here um, you need to type in a DNS server I prefer to use Cloudflare which is 1.1.1.1 and then 1.0.0.1 that's the one I suggest to use but if you're having speed issues or your servers just not staying up all the time um, I recommend looking up good DNS servers in your area. Go ahead and click OK now. Check close and then close again. And then you can close out of these windows. And now you're able to remote into your Minecraft server. And now your Minecraft server will stay on this IP all the time. Alright guys, that is it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video.